How's it going everybody? It is Potter Stocks and this is a video breaking down my chart setup. I get this question a lot. How do you set up your chart? How do I make your chart looks like look like yours? So this is how you replicate that and here's some of the things that you have to have in order to make that happen. So one of the most important things uh, is your NYSE, NASDAQ, uh, NYSE, ARCA uh, package, US stock market bundle. This is, I think like 15 bucks a month or $9 a month. Uh, this is essential. You have to have this and a lot of people don't. Uh, secondly um, is I do not use the daily. So this is time frame wise. I only use the 24 hour setup this is imperative. I would not be able to do what I do without it. Uh, and in fact, most people wouldn't be even be able to come to the same conclusion as me, seeing as their chart probably looks like that. Um, so extended hours, um, 24 hour charts. Uh, yeah, and extended hours, by the way, in the bottom right hand corner of your screen is what I have on at all times. Now, and uh, as far as the boxes are concerned, if you go over here to your, um, I believe it's right here in the, yep, yeah, in the drawings, uh, you'll find the rectangle. You can always hit the star on that rectangle so that way it's highlighted there. You can have it forever. But when you click on this and you draw your rectangle, it's not going to have that middle line. You double click on it and you can set a 50% mark. Now, this would be cost basis. Any box that we find, it's, absolutely imperative that we have that 50% mark. So it's already there. And this helps a lot of people make sure that the, the box that they have and the cost basis they've established is the correct one. Now, following that, uh, I use my chart uh, or, or my channels rather, uh, like so. And of course, this channel is found uh, right here in the trend line tools, I use the parallel channel, and that is highlighted uh, as well. All right. So lastly, I know, uh, some of you guys may have charts that has like blue and yellow in the background and it's not, as clear. This can add a lot of noise. So right click on your mouse, hit settings, uh, and you're going to find the background. So I have it as a gradient, obviously solid, same difference, all black. If that's what you're looking for, all white, whatever that may, may do, uh, may be, or whatever your preference is, uh, no grid lines. And I also don't have any pain separators. Um, you can have a watermark so that way you can see the stock that you are trading. Um, and then you also have, um, let's see here. One second, I believe that's yes. So also an important thing is uh, if you do want your candles to look like mine body, I have white for green, orange, uh, for red, and then of course the borders and the wicks are your traditional uh, extended trading. And then of course your pre and post market hours background, you wanna have those the same color. Alrighty, so that should be about it. Um, if you are trying to get or have any questions on how to get your channel or your, your chart to look like mine, uh, feel free to DM me in the Discord. Um, but this is a straightforward breakdown on how I set up mine. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.